Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> so I'm one day into my trip, my proper trip, um, which is the bit after I leave um, my friend in Clermont-Ferrand and start to explore some of the areas in which I might like to potentially buy a house for my... It's not a maison de retraite because that's when you retire. I need to find out what retreats actually is in French. I don't know. If anyone knows, please give me a shout. Um, and I'm so convinced that this is the right thing. Um, you know, I, I don't know how lucky, whether they realise just how lucky they are in terms of what they've safeguarded, which we've lost in England. So I'm staying in the middle of the Dordogne, or actually in the north of the Dordogne, in a town which nobody had heard of called Exide. And I was literally just looking for somewhere, an Airbnb in the middle of the Dordogne that had a fire because obviously it's not warm at the moment and it's always nice to have a log fire. And this morning I've woken up and it's green rolling hills everywhere. It's a town which no one has heard of, which has a small chateau because there are chateaus everywhere in this area in France. And um, what's most surprising about it for someone from the UK is that there is a big supermarket just on the outside of the village. But for a town with 1,100 inhabitants, it has three bakeries, a butcher, a bookshop, a clothes shop, three restaurants. And in the morning, when I went to get my pain, um, it was busy. The people were walking up and down the town and I went into the little tabac, which is where you buy your tobacco, but where you can also buy a little coffee because I had no sugar to go with my espresso. And so I bought myself a little espresso and lent on the counter and had it. I have bought my baguette, I have bought my croissant. And um, I think a town like this would actually suit me really, really well because <clears throat> it's, um, it's not on the tourist route. Uh, but it's beautiful. I mean, and, and that's the thing. There's so much beautiful countryside around here. It's green, so it obviously rains a lot. And it was raining when I got here last night. Today, I'm off to Limoges to pick up my friend David, who works for the uh, double IRSM. I can't be bothered to even tell you what it stands for. But if you're in safety, you'll know the double IRSM. And, um, and if you're not a member, be a member because it's really good. Anyway, David's coming for the weekend um, just because he's he's wants to practice his French and he enjoys it. So, and he's a bit of a friend. So um, yeah, I'm off there today and I'm not sure what we're gonna do today because he had to get up at three o'clock in the morning. So I'm not sure what he's gonna be up for. Anyway, speak to you later.